Hi, I'm Tom from MapTyler, and today I'll show you how to create a map in just five minutes. I'm going to create a map showing 500 years of sea level rise for New York City. I have my data in a large GeoJSON file, so the first step is to make tiles out of it in MapTyler Engine. MapTyler Engine allows you to create tiles in several formats. Select attributes for the final tiles and restrict the output zoom level. I want to show the sea levels from zoom levels 10 to 15. If you're not sure what these zoom levels are, check our Web Mapping Basics series where we explain this and a lot more. Otherwise, I can keep the default settings. If you'd like to know more about MapTyler Engine, have a look at the MapTyler Engine playlist on our YouTube channel or check out our website. After the data is processed, I'll upload the tiles to MapTyler Cloud, where they'll be ready to use as base maps. That looks good. Now I can upload them to MapTyler Cloud. Once I have my map data ready to use, I can head to MapTyler Cloud and start creating. MapTyler has a great selection of maps, ideal for a load of different use cases. Many of them also have dark and light presets, which is great if you want to create an application with dark and light modes. I'm going to use the regular streets map. This map was designed for navigation purposes and has the perfect level of detail for the map I am making. Let me zoom in to New York. I'm going to make it lighter. And I'm going to add the new layer we created, the sea level rises. That's it. This dataset could be styled as several categories showing the progress over time. But for this quick map, I'm going to style it all the same colour as the surrounding sea. That's the perfect colour, but I would like to have some transparency so I can see which streets are flooded. Let's make the opacity something like 90 or even 80%. And of course, I want my new layer to be under the labels so they can still be read clearly. This is possible to set in the verticality tab. Just drag the layer down below anything you want to be shown above, somewhere here. Now you can see that the New York label is showing above the sea level rise. Let's just save the map. And then I can publish it. This is how the map changed. Given more than five minutes, we could use the MapTyler SDK to put a slider in to make showing the sea level change interactive. Let me know what you think about this tutorial and about the kinds of maps you are creating in the comments section below. 